Hey family, checking in with another video. Um, I mentioned uh, about four weeks ago or more that I was going to provide an update video. Um, I began using the rose water and vitamin E oil mixture that I had seen on Yanni the Lockologist's YouTube page. She mentioned it for moisturizing. It got me to thinking about what I was using to moisturize my hair and so I started using it and I wanted to check in and give you guys an update. So, I'm not really sure if you can see what I'm doing. Let me turn this a little bit. There we go. My hair, first of all, let's just go ahead and introduce you to lock 43, 44, 45. So I mentioned previously in other videos that I had a lot of hair happening here and a lot of hair happening here. And so what I did eventually was just take that and two strand twist it. And then I'm just leaving it alone at this point because it was just, it wouldn't grow into any of the other locks. That's kind of like the catch. Like it was enough hair, excuse me, to be a lock, but not enough hair to go into the other locks. Or maybe the positioning was just awkward. I'm not sure. Anyway, so here we are. Um, oh, that's much better. So, as you can see, I've been holding true to a couple of things that I said I was going to do in previous videos. One of the things I said I was going to do in previous videos was that because I want my locks to be flat, I was going to stop braiding my locks, braiding the loose hair down the body of the locks. Now, in the other video, you couldn't really see it as well because my locks had, I think I had pipe cleaners in my hair. I'd taken some pipe cleaners down, so my locks did look very smooth. But here they are in all their fluffy glory, baby. Oh, let's just see. So while I do, once again, for those who are wondering and who are new to my channel, hey, I am semi-freeform and all I do to my locks are create a little bit of structure by not allowing my locks to completely do what they want to do and mesh together. Locks 43, 44, and 45 are my locks telling me, and I can do about that, I just had to let that happen. I'm going to turn around so y'all can see the back. This is the side. There is a lock, I don't think it's on this, here it is where the end of this lock was about to combine and I just wanted to put some lock jewelry on it because I generally don't wear lock jewelry in the back of my locks. So here we are. I put that there. I thought that's kind of cute. Um, there's the back. And this side. And here we are. Okay, so that's one thing that I said I was going to do. Damn. Mm. The second thing I said I was going to do was to moisturize my locks with the rose water and vitamin E oil. Family, do that. I will very rarely tell people to do something like you need to do this. I really feel very strongly that you should do this. This rose water vitamin E oil. For me, I have noticed a considerable difference in my hair since using it to moisturize. Um, it's the distant, the difference is just ridiculous. In fact, hold on, let me show you guys exactly what I've been using. I'm back. Um, Sundown Naturals Vitamin E Oil. Now you can see how thick that is. It's real thick, family. Real, real thick. Um, oh. Pop it. Oh, sorry. Is that too close? You can't see. There we go. This is 2.5 flowing ounces. And I ordered this from Heritage Store. Rose Petal Rose Water. 8 ounces. Um, and that's it. I take those two and mix them together in my fancy smancy. I'm being facetious, y'all. Spray bottle, and I just spray my hair. I take my hair, flip it over, spray, 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 and that's it. And when I tell y'all, my locks, they look, they feel more moisturized. And that's a big deal for me because I drink a lot of water. So I definitely moisturize from the inside out, hydrate from the inside out, pardon. So 
for me, I was kind of like, oh, I know what's going on. I'm not going to do what I want them to do. But that's, to me, I really enjoy that. I feel like it's made a difference in my hair as far as how moisturized my locks are. My locks look coal black. They look real dark. Um, as opposed to, I felt like they looked kind of dry at some point. Let's see, this is loose hair. Um, so yes, the rose water vitamin E oil is getting a thumbs up from me. It's getting my sample of approval and my suggestion that if you're looking for something to moisturize your hair, I think that that would be a good something to try. Um, I got both of those products off of Amazon. I got the vitamin E oil for like four or five dollars, the rose water for like seven or eight. So maybe the entire thing, no more than like four. 16 17 dollars maybe on the high end if you can find that locally in stores you can do that as well um but that's been a game changer for me i really enjoy it on my hair um i wanted to give you guys an update because there are things i did differently with this set of locks or with this set of locks but particularly with this a couple of locks so this is a lock that i combed out at the bottom now you can see it because it looks different from the rest of the lock this lock I had had, did I can say that I had had? I had been wearing, how about that? I had been wearing lock jewelry on this particular lock for about seven or eight months in hopes of combining the bottom portion of the lock. This was a, one of the locks I was mentioning to you all that I had combined a little bit later on. So this part of the lock is completely locked together. As you can see, it is flat because I haven't done anything with that. And then this part just didn't really want to lock for whatever reason or perhaps my patient's I'm still working on that, was something that was testy. So I combed loose one of the bottom of the locks here, and then I took that loose part and just spread it around the other lock. So that will lock a little bit quicker. Um, there is another lock in the back that I did that with as well. This one, let's see if I can turn it out and see it. This lock, I had been wearing rubber bands on it, lock jewelry on it, and for the life of me, that lock was like laughing in my face and refused to lock. So what I did was, about at about right here you can see the difference I combed loose one of the locks and completely combed it loose like up to a certain well up to a certain point and then I braided that around <clears throat> the extra lock so that will lock quicker since it's loose hair trying to lock not two locks that are already locked which is why I mentioned to you all if you're trying to combine your locks the time to do that is when you know you want to do it which is when your locks are in that beginning stages they're softer when before they've even fully locked because then they will lock quicker than they will when your locks are completely formed completely locked compacted mature locks it's harder for those locks to lock they will lock it will take longer to do so um, so just putting that out there um, let's see what else I've recently just kind of fallen in love with this look. My locks are getting a little bit longer. We are um, officially at one year, 10 months. Um, two years coming up in March, family. So big milestones coming up soon. Big milestones um, for this set. And I'm very pleased with this set. It's just, I like it. It makes me happy. Um, these are what are going to be what I call my personality pieces. And that's just a nice way of me saying some shit I did not expect. <laughs> I did not want an uneven number of locks, family. I just did not want that for whatever reason. But one of the things that you will have to embrace, um, if you're going to semi-free form or free form, is that your locks are really going to do whatever they want to do. So be mindful of that. Like if you have a bunch of loose hair, that loose hair is probably going to lock itself together. So if you don't, if you do not want that, then you need to be constantly making sure that you are popping locks and separating things so that everything will be where you want it to be. If you don't want to do that, free form fam, let it be what it is and, and enjoy your crown as it is. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like this set a lot more. It's definitely going to be the set that I keep for life. I feel it. Or at least I feel very strongly that I will always be locked. You know what I mean? Like. But this set of locks, I feel like it's that set for me. Like, come through here. My hair does exactly what I need to do. Um, as you can see in the back, my locks are flatter like I want them to be. So the patience and stuff is working and paying off. It's just a matter of time, family. Like, just a matter of time. 
your hair is going to do what it's going to do. Just let it be with itself. Let it let it do it. Don't try to do too much manipulating with it. Don't use too many products and your hair will be just fine. Um, if you're not already, please like and subscribe to this video in the box below. Do that, do that, do that. And that way you can see when I post videos and when I say new stuff. When I show you guys my hair or even when I just show you guys new products I'm using. Um, and that's it for now. Love and life, family. Bye.